And now, now, put on, baby. And now, now, put on, baby. And now, now, put on, we hear me. And now, now. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with Sarah Lee. Oh my god! So long since we've been. I, I have our shoes in our hand, but it has been so long <laughs> since we've been in the vlog together. Wow, this lighting is I know. kind of bright, but also there we go. Really nice, yeah. I know. Um, <laughs> we just got in to. We flew into Dubai, but we're here in Abu Dhabi for VidCon. I'm gonna be speaking at VidCon this week. I'm really excited for it. So we're gonna be in Abu Dhabi for the next five-ish days. We had a long journey. Um, it actually kind of worked out perfectly. So Sara and I like both flew into Istanbul and then we both flew to Dubai together and then we had a car drive us to Abu Dhabi. So yeah, it was quite an easy, I'd say, trip. I mean, it was long, but like, I, I like the fact that like we met halfway. Yeah. That was really nice. Yeah. Um, you had like a moment at the airport. I know, it was so cute. It was so cute. But right now we're actually headed to the Sheikh Zayed Mosque in Abu Dhabi, the like famous, beautiful, all white mosque. So we are both in our abayas. I know. Check out the fit. Yes. I kind of wish I had a cuter one, to be honest. I mean, but listen, you guys know how much I love an all black moment. I know. So. This is very sad outfit. But it's all black. Um, Look at the heels. Okay, yes, yes, okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, this is the fit. This uh, is from, yeah, Veiled Collection. Um, I kind of just asked them to send me one last minute because I forgot to go shopping and like actually buy a cute abaya and I don't really have many abayas. So, you, you gonna get some. I know, we're gonna get some here, um, but I just knew we wouldn't probably have time to get it before we went to the mosque and, you know, I need my, my fit outfits, outfit photos. So, yeah, we're about to go. So, we'll see you. And this is our little view. We're staying at the Aloft in Abu Dhabi. You can see there, they have a really weird obsession with the word sassy. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's like so all over the hotel. Here. Yeah, I need to show you guys like everything, every part of it. So there was there was a sign that said "sassy hand sanitizer," <laughs> but this is the view, and we're gonna enjoy the afternoon in Abu Dhabi. So come along. So we just went inside and saw like the Grand Mosque area. Although, okay, I don't know if it's because it's like COVID or something, but like, I don't know, everything's like taped off. Like you can't really walk anywhere. Even in the main mosque area, like you can't really walk. There's a women's prayer area, but the other prayer area used to be open to like anyone that could walk in and stuff, but today it wasn't, so that kind of sucked, but it was still very beautiful, inshallah. Detail in the architecture. Yeah. Is, oh, 
it's beautiful. Um, yeah, we're just gonna walk around the grounds, enjoy, take some photos, and um, maybe watch the sunset here. Yeah, okay. right. Four twenty. Like, it's like seven, an hour. An hour yeah, I feel like we can. We grab some food or something. I'm starving, <laughs> but it is just so beautiful here. Like, oh my god, so so gorgeous. Oh, happy baby, Miss Keen. So our man's, our man's over there, he let us take photos and they turned out so good. This is the restricted area. I know. The of Isa. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Every single ounce of this place is just so beautiful, including us. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, as we were just walking away, I'm like, ooh, but that angle looks cool. Like, look at this. Stunning. This is seriously one of the most stunning mosques I've seen. Wow. I can't believe I'm seeing this in real life. Like, oh my god. We'll <laughs> never get one. This is so crazy! Inshallah. I'm gonna bring you here, Mama, next time. Inshallah. <laughs> so we wanted a meal before the meal. <laughs> so we came to McDonald's. <laughs> because when in a Muslim country, when everything's hard, so we are enjoying. I really wanted to get the spicy McChicken or the McSpicy. I'm gonna get that next time though. I just got nuggets. Mm. Something so simple, so good. <laughs> okay, so we are now at this place called Brunch and Cake, and it's so cute in here with Sarah. It's pretty empty in here, I'm not really sure why, but it's so beautiful. But we're gonna have some dinner here and then some dessert because their dessert looks incredible. But the vibe in here is so freaking cute. Like, I we know. can't get over it. It's so cute. I want my whole house to look like <laughs> Right? Can I just take everything? And like, our little pocket that we're in, like, like it's so cute. Okay, so there's like water right over there. It's so cute. <laughs> Y'all know I couldn't do no dessert, okay? <laughs> okay, I got this Twix cheesecake. Oh my god, it looks so good. We are not, um, we are not. I mean, I had a salad before, so you know, balance. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> This place has been amazing so far. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. And what did we do last night? After, after I think, we ate like our yeah. weight's worth in food. <laughs> yeah, literally, we were out. We went like on a walk by the marina. Oh, yeah. Which was like nice. Oh, okay. It kind of stunk in some places. <laughs> but it was nice. <laughs> and then we just came home and like took off our makeup, prayed, and literally knocked yeah. out like immediately. Like, I took a NyQuil and I was out. <laughs> I was so out, but um, today it is December 2nd and it's actually um, the 50th anniversary of the UAE so there's gonna be like a lot of festivities I think and stuff today, but um, we're actually about to go on a safari adventure, or not safari, where are Desert we going? Safari. Desert safari adventure. So we're gonna be riding camels, we're gonna be sand duning. sand duning and taking photos in the desert. So it should be really fun. I brought my camera this time. You guys will get better quality today, hopefully. But yeah, I'm excited. Are you excited, Sarah? Yes. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, we just met a whole bunch of people and they were all really sweet. I feel like majority of the people here are from LA. I know. Which is kind of interesting. We're the only Canadian. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, no, there is one other Canadian. Um, the I, I I was I remember the jazz and like whatever. Oh. They're from Canada. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're Toronto. They're from Toronto. Um, but yeah, it should be a good time. So stay tuned.
the desert. Come to the desert. What is this desert called? I don't know. No, the Abu Dhabi but... Desert. And oh. Sara and I were, actually all three of us were, yeah. didn't yeah, wear right. shoes. So we're just gonna get camel poop all up in our toes, but you know. Great. Went in the desert. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Camels look nice and healthy, which makes me very happy. But look at it, look at them. Like, how are they not falling? Yo, yo. Oh my god. Yo, that legit looks like they're about to fall. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, watch this. Oh my god. <gasps> That's what I'm scared of. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. oh! That was the craziest <laughs> drive experience ever. I can't wait to see the footage. Yeah, that was actually wild. <laughs> Someone's not having a good time. <laughs> it's just like getting car sick. <laughs> <laughs> that was insane. I like had like a heat headache, and then that car was just like emphasizing all of it. But you know, we move. We're gonna ride camels now. Well, we're in the desert, and then it's the middle of the day, which is like the worst time to ride camels. But it is what it is. Stopped for some lunch. Yep. moderating it <laughs> so it's the first time moderating something as well inshallah it all goes well but I have some time in between him and in, in between that like so we're probably gonna get some work done and I'm gonna prep for my panel and uh, yeah and then I think at like 3 p.m. that's when I everything goes. well actually I think it's at like 4 p.m. but I have to prep around or like meet them around 3 for now we get to enjoy our morning it is officially day one of vidcon and i just finished getting ready for my panel that i am moderating that 
I didn't think that I was actually gonna be moderating. And we're about to head out the door. So I was just adjusting her scarf. Hijabi problems when it's not staying in place. Um, but let me show you guys my outfit. It's uh, a dress by Farm Rio. I've worn this a couple times before. Um, but I'm finally wearing these gorgeous heels out. I've been waiting to wear these for so long. Sorry, I might have been covering the mic. But these, oh, Q-tip. <laughs> These are by Amina Muadi, so I figured, you know, when to wear it best than in the e UAE, which is where I'm pretty sure she resides. So, um, yeah, this is the fit, and I'm excited. Let's go moderate a panel. Hopefully, I do not fail. <laughs> from the Up One podcast. Hi, Hapsa. And sorry, I forgot your name. Sahra. Sahra. I don't even think I asked your name, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Hapsa and Sahra. And they happen to be in Abu Dhabi the same time as VidCon, so it kind of worked out. Very random. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Little Toronto crew. Wait, you're from Toronto too, right? No. <laughs> we got a European in our midst. Sweden? We got a European. So, I didn't know that. I thought it was all Toronto people. Oh, okay. The panel was good. It was kind of empty, but honestly, I didn't mind. Like, I was like, you know what, I'd rather this than like have so many people judging me. What like, I feel like it was a, though. I did good? Yeah. I hope so. But right now, we're just gonna check out the grounds, basically, and um, enjoy VidCon. Hey guys, so I stopped for some photos, and um, now we are on the rooftop of the hotel. I'm here with Sarah Lee. And we didn't realize this, but I guess there's just been free dinner up here and we had no idea. We've just been starving ourselves. <laughs> so we're enjoying some dinner. We're gonna see Nick Jonas. Oh yeah, so we're gonna fuel up. I have a pepperoni pizza here. And we're gonna see Nick Jonas in a couple hours and we're so freaking excited. Like die hard fan. Like she still believes they're gonna get married one day. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he's gonna see me. He's in an Arab country. He's gonna be like, Islam is so beautiful. Let me exactly. convert real quick. Exactly. <laughs> Literally the day we were leaving, I think, I went on with VidCon Abu Dhabi's like site or like Instagram account and I saw Nick Jonas. I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. I'm like, that is about to flip. I sent it to her and she legit like, she sent me a voice note like freaking out. So it's gonna be a very good night. So we're gonna eat really quick, go see Nick Jonas. Let me show you guys this view real quick because it is so beautiful up here. We're at the top of the Aloft Hotel or Aloft Hotel and it's like a 360 view of like the entire city and it's so gorgeous so let me flip this real quick look how pretty this is where we're eating and then it kind of just like wraps around with all these beautiful colors and there's this really cool building which we were right up there last night we we're right at the top over there and then on this side you can kind of see a whole other view and it's just so beautiful I love being in a Muslim country because you don't have to worry about whether things are halal or not. Like it's honestly probably my favorite part about actually traveling to Muslim countries. Like it's it's so amazing. All my halalis know what I mean.
We're running a little bit late, but should get there on time. Today, I'm actually not too familiar with who I'm sharing the stage with, but it should be interesting. Well, these panels have been kind of chill anyway, so, okay. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys my outfit in a second. This is one of my favorites that I put together. Um, and like, I picked up this scarf when I was in Turkey and it like literally matched just so perfectly with the whole outfit, so. Let's go. You guys, okay. I just have to show you the cutest girls ever. <laughs> They're crying for like basic me, okay? So I imagine when they meet Aisha. <laughs> Uh, my name is Aisha Harun. I'm coming here from LA, but I'm Canadian. Up and fashion and stuff. I wasn't very good at it, but I had my dad's camera, so I was secretly filming in, you know, my bedroom. And All right, guys. Final panel is complete. We met up with Hepsa again, and we're done. VidCon is our, our our responsibilities for VidCon is over. So I think we're gonna go get some food, and then Kehlani is actually performing later, which I'm so excited about. Oh. You know what? I didn't show them my outfit, so let me... The top is from Zara. Really cute. The bottoms... I forget where they're from, but I'll, link, I'll try to link them below if they're available. I don't think they are. Also, this music is so loud. I'm so sorry. And then this hijab is from Turkey. So pretty. And yeah, that's the fit. <laughs> oh my god, guys. I got a screaming fan coming up. <laughs> Aww. So guys, I just met a subscriber, so I didn't even ask your name. Asma. Asma, this is Asma. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. It's so funny. So I was out there taking photos, and then something just made me turn around. I don't even know what, and then I just see her like. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. I love Aisha. Oh my god. Aww. Oh my god. Do you live here? Yeah, I do. Oh my god. That's I like, I don't know if she's coming back again. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the love from the people that have come out to support me today has been like on another level. Shout out to Asma, guys. <laughs> I know. So now we are walking into the Instagram happy hour after party type thing. I don't know, but it's above. It's on this rooftop again, which is where we eat breakfast, but it's so pretty.
we just got to Dubai and we checked into our hotel in Allah. We checked into our hotel. We're staying at the address Fountain View Hotel. Shout out to some of my Instagram followers who actually recommended this hotel because I was asking for some nice places to stay here. And this is definitely it. So let me give you a little a little tour. Because this is probably the most stunning hotel I've, I've stayed in. Or at least like top five. It is so beautiful. So when you walk in, it looks like this. I don't know what this is. Okay, just electrical. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is the bathroom, which I actually haven't even seen yet, so let's go in here. Ooh! Oh, it's so nice! Oh my god! So you have a beautiful bathtub. I don't even know if we'll be able to use this, but I kind of want to take a bath now. Huge shower, some robes, huge mirror. Oh my god. Sarah, this is insane! Oh my god! Wow. This hotel is just magical. And then there is the toilet in here. Very nice, very nice. And then we come out here. This huge mirror, which is like honestly so ideal because outfit shots, you know? I feel like a lot of hotels never have enough mirrors, but this is perfect. And then this is the grand room. It is so freaking beautiful. We have this massive like California king bed or something. And then here is like the closet area, mini bar, all of that kind of stuff. And like, look how fancy this is. It's like coffee and tea and then all the teacups and stuff. It's just like so freaking nice in here. Okay, there's nothing in there. I don't really know what's in here. Um, glasses and like chocolates and stuff and then coffee station and then these are the closets like where you could put your stuff and then what's so great about staying in a muslim country they give you a beautiful prayer mat this is actually really nice <laughs> like it's actually a really nice prayer mat okay. yeah it's so nice and instead of a bible there is the quran how beautiful is that oh it's in english language that's interesting. Um, I don't know what's in here. Ooh, some slippers. We love that. Nice big closet. Oh, this is like seriously like luxury. But the very best part about this room is definitely the view. Yeah, and like, <laughs> exactly. There's the view. <laughs> oh my god, this is the view. Honestly, like. I'm trying to think, like, I feel like you rarely ever have balconies on hotels, especially when they're this high. Yeah, yeah, they don't. Yeah, like, especially in America, because, like, I guess they're worried about people jumping off or something. I don't really know. Absolutely. But this is the freaking view. Imagine just, like, having coffee and tea in the morning, uh, and we yeah. get to just, like, oh, relish in this gorgeousness. There's a Burj Khalifa. Is that the tallest building in the world? Oh yeah, okay. Casual view of the tallest building in the world. We have the fountain over there, so we'll get a nice like light show in the morning. Or at night, I mean. And then this is the Dubai Mall, which is massive. And it's actually connected, if you can see. Sorry to any of you who are afraid of heights and watching this. I'm sure it's terrifying, but this is just like so freaking nice. I feel like if you're staying in Dubai, like you gotta do it up like this. Like this is just everything. Oh, I wish we had like more time here. I don't want to be like, let's just miss our plan. I know, right? Oh my god. Uh, guys, this is, I'm so happy. Come here, Sada. That's like, stunning. I know. Like this I'm so is excited. just. I don't even want to leave the hotel. For real. Like I'm happy. I know, it's like chill here. Yeah, honestly, like, it's, it's so, so nice. So I, I can't wait for nighttime though. I, I feel know. like you're gonna die. Like you're actually gonna be like. Because everything gonna lights up, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And this like lighting. Fountain. So we're not even wearing insane. makeup right now. I know. I'm okay. Exactly. We need to shake our asses on the yacht now. <laughs> that's all that's left. Let's go. That's all that's left. Let's go find a yacht. <laughs> Where the yacht's at? <laughs> so we just quickly got ready and now we're in the lobby of the hotel. This lobby is so freaking beautiful. Like. First of all, look at this beautiful couture gown just casually there. And like, look at this. This is so crazy. I didn't realize they had this really cool like infinity pool that like looked out. I really wish I brought my 
swimsuit, but I'm definitely gonna have to come back to this hotel because I'm just like so impressed with everything. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> Yo, I might just have to get up and leave to Dubai. Honestly. <laughs> I've been figuring out where I want to move. I might just have to do Dubai. It's, it's, it's always it's... been Dubai. <laughs> but we are going to the aquarium. trickle into Dior, unfortunately. <laughs> so I am really interested in this bag. I've been wanting this bag for so long, but I've never seen this color in the States, so it's so beautiful. Guys, what do we think? I feel like it, it's just like, I know I would get wear out of this. Yeah. Like everything in my closet would match this. Tell us what you did. May or may not be getting it. <laughs> Which means I am getting it. Uh, I don't really know what we're going to do after this, so. For real? Oh my god. That's so cute! At the hotel now, we're taking a little bit of a break and just watching the Burj Khalifa as it lights up. And um, just, I'm just loving it here. Like I'm genuinely, I feel like Dubai is me. Like I, it, I just feel like I need to be here, you know? So if there's any Khaliji princes, prince or kings out there. <laughs> but look at this y'all, oh my God. This is actually insane. <laughs> if Vegas plus Miami plus New York mm -hmm. had a baby, this would be it. A little bit of spice. Yeah. He made it to the gold souks. Oh my god. So I forgot my camera, but we made it to. This is Old Dubai, right? Or Dira. Dira. And we made it to the gold souk, so we're gonna go shopping for some gold. Spend our money. Exactly, because we are queens and we deserve to wear gold. <laughs> I've gotten two bracelets. I'm still looking for a couple rings. I don't know how much they're gonna be, so we shall see. But it's funny, because I said I wanted a bracelet similar to this one that I have on right now. This one's from Missouri. It's 14 karat gold, but I basically wanted like a 20 plus karat gold version. And I found it, so I'll show you guys that a little later, but we're having fun. <laughs> We're still in the gold shops. It has been like over an hour at this point. But we got what we wanted. We got what we wanted and more. So that is making me spend way too much money. But our man over here. What's your name again? Ubaid. Not Ubaid. Ubaid got us some cocktails. So thank you very much. <laughs> We're about to go pick up the stuff right now. But what was our friend's name? Oh, the guy in the store? Not you, sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Do I know Okay, this is our friend as well. Abdul Halim. Not supposed to be in it. No! You can say hi. Wait, but for real, what was the gold guy's name? His name is Obeid. Obeid? Okay, so Obeid. Obeid. His words, okay, his words. That actually has the proof on her camera. He said, if you guys go to this gold store and you ask for Aisha, then he will give you 20% off. So I'm gonna show you guys the exact store that I'm talking about because 
if you want 20% off your gold, you might as well go there. No, thank you. It is this one over here. So come to this store and you got 20% off if you ask for Aisha. No, it's this. Oh, okay, okay. It's called Al Roman. Al Romezan. I don't know. This one over here. It's kind of near the entry of the gold souk, but if you come here, you get 20% off. And of course, it's not commission or anything. He literally just randomly said that because Sara told him I had a YouTube channel. So he wants to see if uh, my followers will actually follow through, I guess. <laughs> Wow! Look at me! Okay, wow! Emirati princess! It looks so good! I am rebranding. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're a little dirty here. There we go. I'm rebranding as an Emirati princess. So, refer to me as. Actually, I don't even know what they call themselves. Princess Aisha. Princess Aisha. Yep. Wow, 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 wow. So extra. <laughs> I love it. I feel like it's just enough. Just enough gold. This is my friend over here. Say hello. <laughs> no, I was explaining before when I came up, I showed the story. I said, come in here and ask you for the 20% for Aisha. Of course, 100%. Yes, he said 100%. See? There we go. There we go. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is our last day in the UAE, our last day in Dubai, so we're gonna make it a good one, but today we're eating breakfast at our hotel, I got an assortment of things, about to get up and get more because they're gonna like take away a lot of the stuff very soon, but um, this is our view and it's just so beautiful. I kind of wish we were closer there, but it's so sunny, so we wanted to be in the shade. But you can see the Burj Khalifa from where we're sitting, and it's just so, so stunning. Sada's still getting some food, but I'm really excited for today. Last night was a whole frenzy with the whole gold situation, but we got what we wanted, and we're very happy about that. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna enjoy our last day in Dubai. like the pool part of our hotel we didn't realize there was gonna be such a nice pool but it literally is like an infinity pool that looks out onto all of this it's so stunning look how big it is literally from back here it just looks like it like trails off into nothing <laughs> it's insane Sara and I already have plans of coming back and staying at this exact hotel because we're just so in love with it it's so beautiful yeah like, we just made it to the expo 2020 Everybody and their mama told us to come here. I genuinely have zero idea what to expect, but should be a good time. die soon so I don't know how much more I'm gonna be able to film oh my god the music just got so loud I know <laughs> yeah I don't really know how to explain it to you guys it's just really cool so like if you happen to be in Dubai while it's on I think it's on until March I feel like it's something to check out it's pretty cool like look at this
first wedding. And I knew I was coming here, so I told her then. I was like, I'm going to see you when I come. And it's she, way too short. Like, I know. Only two again. days. It's not enough. But I'm going to be back. I already know. Um, we're on the water taxi right now. We're heading to the Arabian Tea House. The Arabian Tea House. It's starving. I haven't eaten since the morning. So yeah, very excited. Yeah, I know. I'm so excited. It's so beautiful out here. <laughs> my lemon mint which I'm very excited for thank you oh my god that looks so good we're still we still have more food too don't worry there's still a lot more <laughs> yay <laughs> down to an end it's like 5 a.m. 5 30 and we are about to catch our flight Sada back to Toronto myself back to LA but at least our first flight is a layover in Istanbul together I well mean, we're flying on the same plane together and then I'm like <laughs> hopping on the next one real quick um oh this battery's about to die I'm gonna switch to my phone real quick <laughs> Bye, Bye guys, it was nice to be on the vlog again. It's I been know. like forever and don't mind this, the fact that I sound like this. I was literally just... It's okay. It's so early in the morning. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>